In recent years, car makers have touted electric technology as the long-term replacement for fossil fuels. But as we know, issues still surround range anxiety and recharging times. Well, behind me is an alternative solution. Hyundai has introduced the first ever hydrogen-powered prototype to Australia. Let's see what it's like. On a global scale, hydrogen fuel cell technology has been in development by car makers for several years. But this is the first sign of real progression in Australia. Hyundai has spent an estimated $1 million in getting an iX35 fuel cell engineering prototype into the country, as well as an accompanying hydrogen refuelling station. As the name suggests, the fuel cell vehicle is based on the regular iX35. It emits only water vapour, which is generated from hydrogen mixing with oxygen to create the necessary electricity to power its electric motor. The motor produces 100 kilowatts of power and 300 newton metres of torque and can travel up to 594 kilometres on a full tank of hydrogen. So I'm joined today by Scott Naga, who's overseen the development of, of this project in Australia. Scott, I guess the first thing is it feels pretty much like any other iX35 inside the cabin. Yeah, it's just like a normal car. There's um, all the comfort and, and creature conveniences that, that a normal iX35 has, except it's um, emission-free motoring. What was the big strategy behind this car? Why did you want to get it out to Australia? Oh, I'm just passionate about technology and you know we've got a vehicle here that we can rely on a domestic fuel source we're not having to rely on oil from overseas so we can make the fuel on site we can use solar panels and water to make hydrogen and the only thing out of the exhaust is, is water vapour. Tesla's sort of really changing electric cars as we know them but there are still issues around uh, range anxiety and charging times but you don't really get that with this car do you? No it's just like a normal car we can go to a service station we can refill in three minutes and the vehicle's got a 600 kilometre range, so it's just like a normal car within the driving convenience of it and also the, uh, the practicality. Now being an engineering vehicle, I, I can't actually drive this car today, but I'm um, more than happy to sit in with you while you do. Is there any, I mean with an electric car you notice that there's regen braking and, and things like that that are a little bit different to your conventional car, is there anything like that that stands out with this? Yeah, we've also got regenerative braking here, um, and you do feel that, the brake pedal feels slightly different, but you get used to it fairly quickly. Uh, apart from that, it's just like a normal car. We could stick anyone in it uh, on a road and, and they'd be a driver like a normal iX35. There's nothing different at all. Yeah, starting out, hydrogen probably didn't have the best reputation for, for safety in, in not just automotive but different applications. But Hyundai's obviously confident that that's not an issue with this car. Yeah, as we said, we've got the vehicles with private customers in California. So private people are driving their car, uh, their kids to school, they're driving themselves to work, uh, doing the shopping run because the cars are safe. It, it met all the regulations to get the cars into Europe and North America. Can you just talk me through some of the, uh, the testing that you did with the tanks? Because I understand it's quite extensive. Yeah, the testing for the tanks includes um, drop tests, under pressure, burst tests, so we over pressurise the, the tanks as far as they can go. Um, they're made of an aluminium liner uh, covered in um, a couple of inches of carbon fibre, mm -hmm. so that they're very thick. Uh, they also do fire tests, they put the car, the tanks under pressure in a fire bath and then they fire bullets at them. Oh wow. Um, so it's pretty extensive, you think about your normal your normal petrol tank that's a, a mill or two thick, um, you know, it doesn't take much to rupture a normal petrol tank in a vehicle. Yep. Uh, these tanks you're, you're going to struggle to do that, it doesn't yep. matter what you do to the car. While the iX35 that we drove is strictly a prototype, Hyundai is pushing for its Korean factory to begin developing right-hand drive models for mass production. That means we could see the first mass volume hydrogen vehicle on our roads within a couple of years. But before then, Hyundai says the immediate challenge is developing the underlying infrastructure. It says it is already in talks with the government to develop hydrogen refuelling stations similar to Tesla's supercharger network. 